Welcome back everybody to Shipfaced. Today marks a special day. It is the 81st anniversary of the Battle of the Denmark Strait, which many of you know is where the end of the HMS Hood took place. And so to mark the occasion, I thought I would highlight this very special British warship. And in doing so, I dedicate this episode to the heroic crew of the HMS Hood. Launched in August of 1918, HMS Hood was the world's largest battle cruiser. Hood carried eight 15-inch Mach 1 guns in hydraulically powered twin gun turrets. The guns could elevate to 30 degrees and depress to negative five. They fired two shells, 1,920 pounds each, that could travel a total maximum range of 30,180 yards, or roughly a little over 17 miles. Being designated specifically as a battlecruiser as opposed to an official battleship, Hood had slightly thinner armor plating and focused more on speed and had a top speed of over 30 knots with her quadruple screw configuration. Over time, through the next 20 years of her naval career, she became affectionately known to the British public as the Mighty Hood, hailed around the world as the most powerful battlecruiser. That is until the Nazi Kriegsmarine had anything to say about it. On Valentine's Day in 1938, the Bismarck was launched, boasting around the world that she was a mere 30,000 tons well within the restrictions at the end of World War I upon Germany. However, the closely guarded truth was that she was 48,000 tons. When I spoke to my friends about planning for this video, he often referred to the Bismarck as, and I quote, a beefy boy. Armed with thick armor plating, eight 15-inch guns, same as Hood, and a plethora of anti-aircraft guns and secondary machinery on her decks, Bismarck was an imposing fortress to any foe. On May 18th, 1941, Bismarck and Prinz Eugen set out to sea to begin Operation Rheinberg. Simultaneously, HMS Hood, the pride of the British Royal Navy, in tandem with Prince of Wales, also set out to sea 30 miles away. As the two closed in on each other, it became more and more obvious until confirmed to the crew of the Hood that Bismarck was here. The battle for the Denmark Strait had begun, and Hood opens fire first. As the shells pierce the water, hugging the bow of the Bismarck, they both miss their target, and Bismarck fires a defiant salvo in return. Adjusting the bearings of her turrets, Hood also returns fire. And together with Prince of Wales, they land a few blows on the Bismarck, who returns fire yet again, this time with dead accuracy as one shell screams through the air. It strikes and explodes with lethal precision. It pierces through the main deck just aft of the second funnel, pierces through multiple additional decks, and inside the magazine, where it burns anything that can. The Mighty Hood, the most powerful British warship ever built, slugged it out against the Bismarck in the middle of the North Atlantic. But in the end, the Mighty Hood blows up. The battle continues between Prince Eugen and Prince of Wales as she has to alter course, avoiding the wreckage. Of the 1,482 crew, only three survive. As Hood's bow slips beneath the waves, a defiant final salvo fires. As I mentioned in the beginning of this episode, this is dedicated to each soul lost on the HMS Hood in the Battle of the Denmark Strait. The three remaining survivors went on to be in documentaries and films to carry on the legacy of their great ship, as well as their own career. And Lieutenant Ted Briggs was the final survivor to pass away. As we take a moment to view the memorial and see this list of names of everyone who died when Hood sank, it's important to remember that Britain didn't sit idly by as their pride of the Royal Navy was destroyed. Following 
within a week after these events, Sir Winston Churchill ordered every able naval vessel to avenge the hood, track down the Bismarck, and sink it. And eventually they did. It was a great effort, and Bismarck took over 700 shells from King George V, Prince of Wales, um, torpedoes and bombs, everything you can think of Great Britain threw at the Bismarck to take her down. Eventually, Bismarck scuttled herself, and there's a lot of debate around, you know, the timing. Did the Bismarck sink because of the scuttling charges, or was it from the heavy artillery? Nobody knows 100% for sure, as both were happening at the same time. But regardless, Bismarck was sunk, and the hood was avenged. Alright everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for this and more videos. Stay tuned for more content next week as I wrap Queen Mary's story. And everyone have a happy and safe Memorial Day weekend.